Sometime here. So we finally figured out what caused the crash of our spaceship there back at Roswell in the 1940s. Turns out it was a failure of this hypergolic cooling system in the cataclysmic reverter. It was hit by a hypersonic wave from a deltic power unit running under a test at high power, and the coil imploded. So, unfortunately, its cooper aluminum high conductivity structure just wasn't enough for the to take the, the deltic sound wave. Like we've told you in the past, if you'd keep them deltic engines running, you wouldn't have to worry about any bad aliens coming to the planet. Unfortunately, though, we've been trapped here since then because the alloy doesn't exist on Earth and we don't have the technology to duplicate it, so as you can see, this, this coil's beyond repair here. But this is finally what caused the crash. We've solved the big mystery. We knew it had something to do with those triangular-shaped deltic motors. Anyway, I'm getting ready to eat my zacada steak here. Have some octopus milk to drink. So, everybody have a good one. Zonta here. We'll catch you later. So here's the culprit right here. The triangular Napier Deltic engine. When it's running, it puts out unique resonance. The hypersonic frequencies. And that's what brought our spacecraft down. Here we've got a couple examples of the Deltic. Here's the turbocharged version and the older supercharged version. Of course, us aliens have finally perfected the turbo compounded version. Anyway, just to show you what the Deltic looks like. Just remember, this wasn't our fault. I never bloody well said interstellar travel was easy. Failures can happen, but now we're stuck on this rock, and we gotta do the best we can.